Hey YouTubers, it's Trainboy55, and it's been a while since my last episode. So today, I'm going to re react to one of the best Thomas Fan show called Tiger Moth, I mean Project Tiger Moth, the fan main model series pilot episode, which is based on the series 5th series of Thomas and Friends. It was made by Jacob Jarrett, a.k.a. Flying Prickle. So, let's take a look at this video. And if before I take a look, before we take a look at that video, so, um, he makes an awesome replicas of the television series of Thomas and Friends. So, I saw the sneak peek and some of the images and even some behind-the-scenes stuff. That he did a fantastic job, along with, with his friend Robert McGee, a.k.a. Wind Railway Reviews, and other Thomas fans that you all know very well. So, let's take a look. <laughs> It looks like a real thing. Or should I say, the real Thomas Friends episode. One morning, Toby the tram engine was feeling glum. The other engines were busier than ever, but poor Toby hadn't taken any passengers for any Whoa. weeks. That Only setting is amazing. Cars. Just then, Gordon puffed in to take on water. Oh, hello, Gordon, said Toby sadly. Are you pulling the express today? Who else but me, huffed Gordon. You're lucky to always have passengers, remarked Toby. You know, Henrietta and I haven't gone this long without passengers since. Well, not since my old tramway closed down. Then Toby remembered. It was back in the good old days, chuckled Toby. Oh, the flashback of Toby the Tram Engine, a.k.a. Toby line, and the Stout Gentleman from and Series Henrietta 1. was always bustling with passengers. They'd visit us on holidays and always remembered our names. But then they stopped coming back. My line was closed and the good old days were over. It would be nice to have my own tramway again, sighed Toby, like having my own branch line. Pa, snorted Gordon. Branch lines are just useless extensions of the important main line. That's all Sir Topham Hack cares about. And he puffed rudely away. Well, that was rude, Gordon. Just then, Thomas puffed in with some freight cars. He saw Toby, looking dismayed. What's the matter? asked Thomas. Oh, just miss being useful, replied Toby. If I could just have some work to do, he said sadly. Thomas smiled. Well, you can take that train of building supplies to Percy for me, said Thomas. They're needed up at the work site of the new main line extension. Then I'll be able to collect Sir Totten Hat early, and you'll have some work to do. Toby was excited though the extension was news to him. Come on, Toby, said his driver. We'll take Thomas's branch line and give you a nice long run. Toby was now beaming with joy. He reversed on to the train of supplies and set off for the work site. But as he puffed down the line, he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. Sir Topham Hatt really does only care about the main line, he thought to himself. No, he wasn't. He cares both lines. Meanwhile, Percy was fuming. Where's Thomas? I'm exhausted, he complained. He'll be here soon, soothed his driver. But we must remind him not to spoil the surprise. Percy was puzzled. What surprise? Before his driver could answer, Toby arrived. Here are the building supplies, Percy, he panted. Toby, what are you doing here? He snapped. I'm sorry. Thomas said I could deliver these supplies for him. Is there anything else I can do to help? Percy eyed a long line of freight cars, full of scrap and tree branches. You can take those cars back to the yards for me, he replied. The train looked quite heavy for Toby, but he agreed. He rolled onto the special junction, called a Y, and changed directions. Whoa, that's a nice view from back and down on the mine he episode. He up to the heavy train and saw his way. Soon Toby was pushing the heavy train of freight cars up a big hill. 
he made a tremendous effort, but just as he reached the top, the weight of the cars became too much for him. Uh-oh. His driver shut off steam and applied the brakes, but it was too late. There was worse to come. Oh as no. As he thundered toward the work site, he saw Percy dead ahead on his track. Look out, Percy! cried Toby. Toby rocketed past Percy into some bushes near the work site. Toby shut his eyes and braked with all his might. Whoa! At last came to a stop in front of an old station with an old shed. When Toby opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy pulled up behind him. Are you all right, Toby? He gasped. Toby was bubbling with excitement. Percy, this is my old tramway. And look, there's my old shed. I, I, I never thought I'd see it again. Just then, Thomas arrived with a work crew and Sir Topham Hatt. He spoke sternly to Toby. You should know your own strength by now, Toby, he boomed. I'm sorry, sir, but I only wanted to help. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad to see you safe. Though it's a shame you've spoiled your surprise. Toby what surprise? My surprise, sir? Sir Topham Hatt smiled. Yes, Toby, our new extension is in fact a restoration. We are restoring and connecting your tramway with the main line and Thomas's branch line. Of course! Toby grinned from buffer to buffer. He almost couldn't believe it. Oh, sir! Thank you, sir! He cheered happily. When the restoration was complete, Toby and Henrietta took a special charter of friends, old and new, down the line on an opening run. For Toby, it seemed the good old days were here to stay. Wow. Okay. I am blown away. That is one of the best fan-made Thomas model series I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm going to give this video 100 out of 100 because this is the best video ever. And of course, I would explain why Toast Tramway was being restored all in the first place. Anyway, that's all for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that I'll see you next time in the next episode.